Um, recently, I cannot say his last name. I'm not going to chop it up. Uh, his name, first name is Christian. He was stabbed to death by his girlfriend. Um, and condolences in Miami, to him. Was yeah. that down in Florida? Yeah. 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 Condolences to him and his family. And just like his girlfriend's white. And he's a this, black man. And, and you know he's, he's a black African. Man. Yeah, yeah, actually. And um, it, it it made me want to speak about it because a lot of women, black women, gave it backlash because he had tweeted his preferences. He preferred white women, you know. And they, and like when the black man got killed, the first thing they did was go to Twitter and look at his old tweets. They, nobody said rest in peace. Nobody did an investigation. No, seriously, like as soon as he died, I was like, man, what did he say about us? And they went and looked up, and he said, you know, I prefer white women, this and that. And you know, it made me think of how unprotected the black man is. He might have had his preference. No one's knocking anybody else for their preferences. But he's getting knocked. They're saying, you know, you should have dated black women. It ain't uh, our business. You, you know, see what happens. And I just think that is awful. It, like, it's just awful. It's not right. You know, we should respect like everybody. I mean, Serena Williams says that she feels like her husband treats her better than what she's been treated by black men. No one threw a fit, you know? Like, yeah. that's her business. She might really feel like that, you know? So it just, it, it, it just messed me up because... As a black man, our black women are supposed to be at our backs. They're supposed to have our back. They're supposed to have our front. And for him to pass away and not even a rest in peace, it's like, oh, well, he, he didn't like, you know, I, I wasn't his cup of tea. So, you know, what this got to do with me is sad, you know. Like, and, and she was a social influencer, so her whole thing was to kind of have attention to me. You know what I'm saying? So give her attention. You guys are done on every other subject, every other topic. Give her attention now. Like you said, he didn't like black women. It wasn't his thing. But he's still a black man. He was someone's son. And he was somebody that we need to highlight because no matter what we feel about them two, the judicial system only works for people that are people that are white. I'll just say it. Because just due process hasn't even happened. She never even seen a courtroom. There's not been a charge filed. Nothing happened. So as far as that goes, I would like her to see that process just because of the simple fact this is a black man who was stabbed to death. Supposedly there was prior DV situations. There was prior fights and stuff that's documented. But that night he was asleep, supposedly. So they're waiting for the coroner to, you know, basically give them the um, results back, saying if he was up, if he was awake, you know, if anything they can tell, like there was any resistance. So. Um, they're waiting for that, but she needs to be taken through the just due process because this is a murder. The, he was stabbed. You know, this is a homicide. And it could be seen as murder. It could be seen as whatever it is, but they need to take him through the whole process. And that's what I'm fighting for. Um, you know, I'm not going to say just forget him because he didn't like black women. I mean, I could just say, hey, that's what happens with white women, I guess. I mean, that's the, if you want to talk about experiment, in case in point, trial and error, in that one study, you end up stabbed by a white lady. I don't know. We can run with that. My thing is she needs to be taken through the process of, you know, evidence and, you know, going through an investigation because she just, she's just out here living life, having coffee. You know, um, the, I did have a black woman. Uh, there was a black woman harassed her on video. Like there was. Yeah, yeah. She saw her out. She was like, you're just out living life. And, you know, this man's, you know, dead. You murdered him. So yeah. shout out to her. You know, I'm not saying it's a majority, but I did. But Twitter is a hellacious place. And it's not a real place. Just like Dave Chappelle said, Twitter is not a real place, first of all. So take it with a grain of salt. Um, uh, I got backlash in there because I was because <laughs> I say entitlement is somebody telling you, somebody who's five four telling you, you got to be six foot to date them. How entitled are you? And what I had to the women in my mentions, <laughs> insane. So don't take Twitter to heart. But all the linebackers. But it was discouraging. <laughs> it was discouraging to see you know so many black women like you know forget them. You know, and he's still a person. You know, still a human being. He was still murdered. It's not like he was. You know, tell me he tell me he did something, you know, vulgar or disrespectful to a black woman. Don't tell me his preference was a white woman and, and now it's okay he got killed by a white woman. So, you know, that's that's why I wanted to speak up with that.